All right, church, I'm going to read Habakkuk 3. And remember, we're talking about worship here. And so um, I want us to hear this because it's critically important for us to understand um, the true heart of worship. Let's read it here in Habakkuk 3. Even though the fig trees have no blossoms and there are no grapes on the vines, and even though the olive crop fails and the fields lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the fields and the cattle barns are empty, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me sure-footed as a deer, able to tread on the heights. Now, as we look at this, I want us to hear and see the heart of the worshiper. It wasn't tied to how well life was going how large his bank account was, how well his crops and family were doing. He was like, man, there is actually everything failing around me, even in my own life. Yet I will praise God, for he alone is my savior. <laughs> you see, worship isn't tied to like what we consider in our modern world blessings when everything's going well. Worship is seeing God for who he is no matter what the circumstances are that we are facing, and we worship him regardless. So I want to encourage you today. You may be going through a really tough time. There may be a lot of things falling around you. I mean, if we just look nationally, we know that our country is crumbling around us. But in your own personal life, it's even more uh, despairing sometimes when everything seems to be crumbling around you. I want to encourage you to be a worshiper today, a true worshiper. Understand that God loves you the same, whether you have a million dollars in your account or nothing. He loves you the same no matter what is going on in your life. He loves you and you are called to worship him as one of his followers. So let's do it. Let's be his church. Yeah.